Hi Sagittarius, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know that this reading can be about any area of your life. So just really listen to the messages, your thoughts, your feelings, and you'll know how the, the messages resonate with you. Also, in the description box, there's two new links. One is a link to my Tarot Oracle Shop if you want to shop Tarot and Oracle cards. Also below um, is a link to some great spiritual advisors on my website who are available to do personal readings. You can check out their bios if you want a personal reading. I am also going to open up some personal readings this week. So uh, my details are below on how to contact me. So with that, Sagittarius, let's pull the rest of your cards here. Now, the very last cards, um, you can ask a question about your situation or just any question, I guess. And um, there is yes and no in the deck here. I'll be using the angel answer deck. If yes or no does not come out with your question, then just take it as guidance, right? Um, you know, towards your question. So uh, let's get started here, Sag. Let's see what the energy shows here. Really, really nice energy. Your first card here is the Nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Really nice energy. So that's that nine of pentacles here. So it's a very prosperous energy. You also have here number three, you have the Empress. This is Archangel Gabriel. It says time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Okay, what I'm getting here, I really feel Sagittarius, this is Something in your life here, something uh, new. This may be around new ideas. I feel like some of you could be starting some sort of side business. You know, it can't even be, you know, you getting a part time job or actually maybe thinking about doing some sort of new career here in your life. I feel like, too, for some of you, this also can be an energy. I don't know why I'm picking this up. Maybe you're going to, you feel inspired to like travel or do something different or have more fun. Uh, some of you too, maybe very, um, maybe you're redoing your home. I get that energy as well. Okay. But I feel like this is a happy time for you. Really nice energy. Okay. So I feel too, it's a very creative time for you. So if you have ideas about doing things, I feel that now is a good time. Okay. That creativity energy I'm seeing is really uh, working for you. You also have here uh, the six of Gabrielle. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, or promotions. Okay, so this is success. This is victory, right? So whatever goals that you have, I feel uh, you're moving in a direction that you could be very successful with it, whatever this is for you. Some of you I feel here too, this could be actually to also right? Um, a change in a relationship or a new relationship. Okay, so take it how it resonates. All right. <laughs> and as I say that, I see the two of cups here. So you have the nine of wands. You have the ten of pentacles. Beautiful. So that's nine of pentacles. Now you have the ten and you have the two of cups here. All right. So this is your hard work here, uh, Sagittarius. So there may be a situation that you've worked very, very hard for. You may even be a little bit exhausted. You may need some rest here with that nine of wands. But it's telling me here you have uh, done the work. You've persevered. And I feel like some of you, now it's time to, to enjoy life a little bit, right? Like it said here too, some of you could have finished some sort of project and now you're moving on to the next project. Some of you, this may be a relationship, okay? Because you have the Ten of Pentacles and you have the Two of Cups. So I feel, uh, Sagittarius, that uh, if there is somebody here, right, that you have seen as someone that you want to be with okay maybe you had to stand your ground with the situation it feels really nice energy with that ten of pentacles and two of cups 
Some of you, this is just about, right, a love for what you, you know, a love for um, what you do, right, tells me here again, uh, something very prosperous, right, your hard work is paying off, right, so you may see, right, whatever this is for you, you you're, you're headed towards that Ten of Pentacles, something solid and stable, whether it's money and career, whether this is around love. Some of you could be going into a partnership. Okay, you may have an idea to go into a partnership with a business with someone. So let's see, uh, we're going to pull some Kipper cards, get some additional details here. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, so family room. All right, you know what I'm getting with that Nine of Wands and the family room, and this may not resonate with everybody, but it's also number three here, 21, which is three. So I feel like this could be about new ideas, new concepts. Um, some of you, like I said, you know, I felt like a home energy earlier with that empress, right? Maybe taking care of the home. Maybe you've been doing a lot of chores or things or, you know, uh, with the home here. Maybe that's why you're exhausted. But I really also get with that energy is that uh, you could be getting some sort of family pushback for whatever reason. So if you're making some sort of change in your life or you have a goal or there's something that you want to do, and it may not resonate with everybody, but I feel like you could have some opposition from family, okay? Only only knew you know what it is. Now you also have your distant horizons. Some of you could be traveling, all right, um, but this is also an energy of things getting better, okay? So again, persevering, not giving up in this situation. Let's see what else we have here for you, Sagittarius. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, expectation, nice here. Knowing your worth, right? So I feel here you got some goals, you got some expectations, you're headed in the right direction towards uh, that Ten of Pentacles. Now I'm going to say for those of you where you got family opposition, it may be also to you're not meeting your th their expectations, but that's okay, right? You know your worth here, right? And uh, you are the Empress, so it's not about male or female, it's the energy, Keep doing what you're doing, even if people aren't supporting you, what you want to do, because uh, I feel here, you know your worth and you have your own expectations of what you want and what you're going after. And it looks really nice here with that 10 of pentacles. You also have number 22, which is official person. So this could be somebody uh, around you that's very important in your life. Um, some of you, I'm going to say here too, right, could be related to that Ten of Pentacles. Some of you, it can be uh, somebody that maybe you're working with, could be an employer, can also be uh, a love situation. Could be somebody in the military or, or someone who holds some sort of high level position. Let's see what else we have here for Sagittarius. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Oh, look at that. We have here gift. All right. So we have a gift here. All right. So we have gift and we have two of cups. So you could be receiving a gift here from someone. I feel like too, this is soulmate energy number 17, which is eight. Uh, soulmate energy. Sometimes eights can talk about giving away your power. Um, or, I mean, could be about power. So there could be somebody around you, right? I feel here too, like I said, could be a family member um, who, you know, maybe trying to take away your power. I'm just going to say that may not resonate with everybody because look at that on the bottom of the deck, you have another number eight, which is false person. So be cautious, Sag, because there could be somebody around you who's trying to take away your power, maybe somebody who doesn't agree with the changes that you're making in your life, all right? But I would say, right, do what you feel you need to do, right? Your expectations, knowing your worth here. Okay, look at that. And the next card is so relevant because you have courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Yeah, so you may have to set strong boundaries with people 
who are in opposition or don't agree or who are not supporting you. But this is really finding that self-discipline, that strength here, right, to get through this situation. And I'm going to say, you have beautiful energy. So whatever your thought process is, I feel here you're manifesting something really beautiful here, some sort of goal, something that I feel is moving you in the right direction towards this Ten of Pentacles. Um, so your card here, this is a nice energy here. This is from the Angel Power deck. This is Hidden Treasures. Bring your creative ideas and hidden talents to life. Present your gifts to the world. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Yes. Yes. Really nice energy here for you, Sag. So let's pull uh, your messages here from the angels. And as I said, it could be a question. All right. So this one already flipped out. So this is the unlikely card. Okay. The unlikely card comes to tell you that you may uh, actually have a vision of how uh, you think things are going to play out, right? And it may be this opposition that I'm seeing here. But what your angels are telling you that it's not going to play out how you think it. There's still things in the works that your angels, your guides, the universe here, there are things that are in the works here that haven't completely played out here. So your vision right now may be a little bit foggy or you may feel like, this is what's going to happen. They're telling you and it's not going to happen the way you think it's going to happen. All right, so let's see what else comes out in this deck here for you. Ask your angels, right? So ask your angels for insights here. So it may be related, right, how you're going to get here to this Ten of Pentacles. There may be some messages or guidance that they have for you. Okay, or if you're struggling, right, with knowing your worth, maybe struggling with opposition, ask for insights from your angels on how to deal with it. Okay, and look, we have a yes card. So if you asked a question, it's yes. Right, look at that. With the two of cups and the gift card here. You also have here get more information on the bottom of the deck. So you may need to gain some clarity uh, about your situation. Maybe you're needing more information before you really take off with this. But again, it's saying ask for uh, ask for insights from your angels. So Sag, uh, beautiful reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.